Listen up, Rangers. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today, we finally got to go see The Predator. Well, Sir? technically, it was yesterday that we seen it. Yeah, well, the funny thing was, is I th- you saw it at Craft Date, right? Yeah. So you saw the showing. I went to the first showing. You went to the second showing. <laughs> 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 I think that's how that worked. But anyways, finally got to go check it out. So we're just going to talk about it. And there's going to be spoilers, because why not? You want a spoiler-free review? Go watch it. It was cool. amazing. I enjoyed it. So, if we enjoyed it, you'll probably enjoy it too if you guys are into the same things that we are. And it's rated R, but it's not rated R to the point where it's like bad, bad. You know what I mean? There's I'm, a lot of violence. There's gore. Yeah, I'm taking my kid to go see it again. There's so, a lot of language. But so, there's no like sexuality. Yeah. Is the thing. Like, even like Olivia Munn strips naked, you see nothing. Nothing. Which is boo. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <sighs> but anyways, now we're just going to talk about the movie. And yes, I really enjoyed this. This might actually be my second favorite Predator. Oh, it is for sure. Second favorite. Which I don't really get a lot of the criticism of this movie got because one of the main things I heard a lot about is that the movie doesn't really know what it wants to be. It knows exactly what it is. A Shane Black movie. Yeah. It's just everybody's joking. <laughs> There's a lot of action. That's the movie. Uh, but yeah, the movie doesn't really... It takes itself seriously, but the characters aren't very serious. Exactly. Is the best way to go about it. Like, they make a lot of jokes. There's a lot of, like, back and forth banter between everybody. But it's in a good way. It's in an entertaining way. Yeah, because for me, it helps to build a lot of character. I think the best review I heard was, like, Jeremy John's, where he mentioned it's a lot like a Marvel movie. It's like if a Marvel movie was rated you mean Deadpool? Well. Or Punisher, second one? Warzone? No. <laughs> What's wrong with Warzone? I don't know what movie you're talking about. I only know the Thomas Jane Punisher, who's also conveniently in this movie. What's wrong oh, with Oh, wait, the- there's also Dolph Lundgren. I, I'll, I'll acknowledge that one, too. What is wrong with Warzone? Seriously. Movie's amazing. And when it first. That movie is just literally gore and nothing else. When in 30 seconds he shoots an 80 year old lady's head off in the movie. What more do you want from Punisher? Story. Something to keep me invested. There is a story. That guy was horrible. He shoots a cop and he feels bad. The that end. movie made me miss John Travolta. Wait, seriously. <clears throat> that is the greatest Punisher movie. <sighs> so, Alright, work it out. You gotta work that you gotta work it out. Yeah. Serious face. Don't <sighs> go. That is the worst Punisher movie I've ever seen. <laughs> 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 I mean the greatest Punisher movie I've ever seen. No, the greatest is the Dolph Longer, where he's some reason in the sewer butt naked, yo know, meditating. You're just jealous. He just zooms in on that crack. You're just jealous because his balls are dragging across the wet, cold cement. I am jealous because my kid. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> all, right, all right, wait, wait. Are we talking about the new Godzilla movie that's coming out? Or uh, 2019? We haven't seen it yet. So. See. Well, wait, oh, wait. Predator. We're talking about the Predator. Not the third one. Or the first one. Second oh, second one's a right? Gary Busey one, yeah. <laughs> this one has this kid in it, which I, I highly appreciate. I that appreciate... there is a continuation of the other Predators in this one. Good. Uh, like, that actually, like, that one scene made me super happy. There's quite a few scenes randomly that made me really happy. For one thing, too, the Predator, I thought, like, a lot of people... Especially, like, now that people are seeing it and popping up in that toy review, a lot of people were complaining about how brief the Predator that we've seen in the trailer is really in the movie. Which, to be fair, it's in the movie for, like, at least 30 minutes. Yeah, it's, like, solid one-third of a movie he's in there. And to be honest, like, outside of the weird CGI's and some of the, like, like when the guy, he gets cut open and the blood falls on it and it kind of shows... Like, it's because it's cloaked, and the blood kind of reveals the Predator's face, and you see the glowing eyes. Like, that could have been better. Same with the big Predator. CG's weird sometimes. Oh. Just, it's not convincing at some points. 
I was fine with the CG for this movie. I knew exactly what I was going in CGY. Shane, I knew exactly what was happening. I was okay with it. I was expecting a little bit more. Oh, I wasn't. I'm, I'm a- some of this stuff, like, for instance, doggy predators. I fairly I, I, you could bar- like I could barely tell the texture of that thing sometimes. Because there's just so much going on. It became kind of like a Transformer movie. Which, things were transforming, so that makes it kind of weird. Because of how fast-paced some of the stuff was. I, I had no issue with CGI like Steve did, honestly. I I was going in, honestly, expecting 3, 4. I got 5, 6. I'm like, oh, sweet. Even better than I thought. Like, it's not horrible. It's just some parts are more noticeably be- uh, not as good as others. There is issues with the dog, okay? That's under... But, like... That's still my favorite joke in the entire movie. It's when he shoots the dog in the head and lobotomizes the dog. And the guy was like, you don't know how to shoot people in the head. <laughs> and it just made me laugh because like, same, because like, he tried to kill himself and screwed it up. The same with the dog healing. Just needed to give up. There's a lot of issues with some of the characters. Super upset that the Irish guy dies first in the group. Oh, the one um, when he gets his arm blasted off? Yes. And fires the flare. And I'm super upset how the Jesus guy dies. The Jesus freak. I wasn't because he was probably the only one I found annoying. Like, he was kind of grating for me. You didn't let me finish. I'm super excited. I mean, super upset that he didn't die in the most gruesome way possible by getting his skull ripped out or spine. Because that's so stupid he just got killed by the shield. He- yeah, it just slides off the yeah, he, sh- he should have been one of the people where he was like, Nruh! and ripped his spine out, you know. I, I kind of would have been okay with that. Like, honestly, t- like Thomas Jane and uh, Keegan probably had the most gory deaths out of everybody. Where he got to pale under the tree, and then the other guy kind of cut open and they shoot each other. Which, I know probably some people are like, with all the jokes and the wisecrack in this movie, that they're like, oh, it's really hard to get into serious moments. I, st- I don't feel like that moment was super serious. Like, it built... Ca- like, it kind of helped with the character building. Yeah. But, for me, even, like, those scenes, it's kind of, like, sort of tongue-in-cheek a little bit. I I don't like, see a it's problem. Corny, it, so yeah, it was it. it was designed... Like, that scene was designed for that. They were supposed to die like that. You're not supposed to be super upset about it, super sad. It's a Predator movie. Everyone's gonna die. You know it. I'm surprised that three Yeah, I was going to say, there's survived. two Predators in the movie. You already knew one was going to die, too. Like, I, I'm surprised that thing made it that far. Yeah. Granted, I wish it would have put up more of a fight, but then again, in the Predators, that, it thing. didn't really put up that good of a fight either. Yeah, they have to show the difference in the strength. Like, humans are fighting this guy, and they're dying left and right, and then this Predator comes and just, like, flicks him, and he's dead. It just shows a difference in their strength and power. Although you appreciate that some dude that's got to be... I maybe five. I don't know how big, tall. Um, I think his name is Brody. Is the the actor from the movie that plays the main character, the sniper dude. He tackled that like nine foot tall predator. I thought they said it was eleven feet. I don't know. It's huge. How the hell does he tackle that thing? He just spears it. Fly. This thing goes flying. It's funny though how the thing that takes bullets no issue. It's funny, though, how he still kind of bounced off of it, though, because, like, he's like, eh, and the guy was like, uh, he's just like, enough. <laughs> uh, that last fight was sweet, though. And that's kind of the cool thing, too, is you don't, like, is outside of the first movie, you don't really get, like, a super jacked hero character. Like, Danny Glover is a complete opposite of Arnold. Right? Yeah. But still was a cool hero. I, I, I really like the second Predator. Third Predator with um, Adrian. Uh, I still thought he worked really well yeah. for it. He didn't have the strength like Arnold did, but he had the smarts. Yeah, he was like, you could understand why he was put on that planet. And the same with this one. Like, they build enough story for the guy to pretty much convey that this guy's a badass. But the problem is, is, I feel that, especially in that final fight, it's pretty much like the size difference just kind of throws me off. That, that guy is remotely capable of taking that thing on in hand-to-hand. Even, especially Olivia Munn. Like, I feel like she should have just jumped on top of that thing and just woo, went flying. 
Like, I understood when the guy, when he was, like, shanking him in his face, he was a little bigger. But then, like, the second time when she did it, she jumped on him, and she was, like, she should have been just, like, instantly really responsible. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. She was earning that paycheck, man. <laughs> For sure. Actually, I was just very impressed with her in this movie. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah, there wasn't. I hate that you don't see her. Ugh. Yeah, it's just, but it's mainly like I didn't really feel like anybody was really that bad in this movie. Like, there's a lot of over the top characters, but nothing to where outside of the more religious guy that really threw me off. I actually really like Thomas Jane with the the oh the Tourette's. Yeah, I actually like that. I thought he did really good, especially when <laughs> like he's talking to her. Oh, it's so but great. going into this movie, I was expecting those characters, so I was okay I, with all I, of them. I wasn't I, expecting that, except the Jesus guy. I knew they were. I knew getting into it, that was gonna be a lot of wisecracking. I didn't think we were gonna get into it with a bunch of uh, people, like a bunch, of, like everybody in this movie has a disability of some kind. Yeah, because even um, our main character has PTSD, or I, I think I'm saying that right. Yeah, post-traumatic the, stress disorder yeah and especially the main kid i forget exactly what he has because my wife kept saying it was autism and i know it's not quite asperger that. or something like that because remember the bullies were making fun of him yeah I, I forget exactly what he has but a lot of that has to tie into the story of this and for the most part i didn't mind the kid i'm really like indifferent although he has one of my favorite scenes of where he's getting bullied and he go he's walking away from the the house and the guy throws that rock at him, hits where he the kid, kills. and the gun just pops up, flings around, explodes the house. Where he kills like 50 people at least. It had to be 50 people in that party. It was loud. And just nobody cares. Kid didn't care nothing. Had... Except he picked <laughs> no up the remorse. mask. He's like... Yeah, and then he scares kids with it. Like, he's like, yeah, look what this could do. I think... I had an issue with the kid because at like first he was scared... And then now uh, he's just like super tough where he's stalking crap to the uh, main bad guy. Which my problem is like, did he grow balls between him killing 50 people or what? It like, just takes that first time, man. <laughs> like, how did this transaction go, you <laughs> that know? That first time, just, whoo, you just you go, I guess. He's scared of two people. He kills 50. He's scared of two kids. He kills 50 people. And now his cojones are dragging on the floor. Yeah, it was, just, it was strange. Also, like, he just, I don't know, like, even, like, with that particular disorder, like, how the hell does he figure out the alien language so fast? So he's, like, he's just playing around with that thing and just, do, 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 just deactivating everything randomly. And then all of a sudden he's, like, a master. Which, for me, it didn't really take much disbelief for that to make sense. So that worked out really well. Well, like... When he put all the chessboard pieces back the way they were in the beginning, I kind of figured he was going to probably be the one person that figures out their technology. I like that out of, like, they hunt, like, the best specimens, and they take the kid <laughs> at the end of the movie, or try to take the kid anyways. Which, what do you think of the main bad guy outside of the Predator? Love that guy. Although, I got really confused <coughs> when he died. His, he blows his own head off, right? Yeah. That's what happens. I thought he blew off Olivia Munn's head originally. I was cool. I was, I like, was really confused for like a quick second. I'm like, oh, okay, I, I'm good. I'm good. Well, in a sense, I was confused, but then in a sense, it made sense, okay? Like, okay, he blows his head off. At first 30 seconds, I kind of didn't process it. I thought the Predator did, but then it made sense to me. He's using alien technology that he has no idea how to use. It will happen. You're not, that was not meant for you to use it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's kind of like the helmet where it just kind of does its own thing. Yeah, so it's kind of like, um, put realism to the movie, to me at least. Yeah, it just, it, it took me a minute to process. Like, it just was like, bam, out of nowhere. But a lot of the, if you guys are really in the violence, it's great in this movie. They're like, they're not afraid to show the kill. I love the attitude that the huge predator have. He knows what he is. He's a badass. Oh, that was my favorite. He's like, you got a seven minute head start. Go. <laughs> well, it's not just that. Like when he was at the base and he like does all the damage, he's walking away. He spits on the floor. He's like, oh, you guys are weak and just keeps walking yeah, away. Yeah, he doesn't even care about anybody else. Yeah. He just walks to the ship. He's like, you're not trying to kill me. Whatever. 
Oh, so, that brother was sweet. I, I again kind of wish that there would have been more of a fight between the human predator and whatever he's supposed to be, because essentially what they're doing in the movie is the predators are hybridizing themselves with the best of the best alien specimens they can get hold of. Yeah, they're just pretty much using roids in a sense, if you want to say it. They're just roiding themselves up with a ton of other DNAs. So he had like an exoskeleton he can grow on the outside and yeah, all the cloaking and gigantic size. To me, I thought he was almost like, because I know for Predators, there's like a hierarchy. Yeah. And even like the way the third movie introduced where the Predators, well, there's certain Predators that haunt other Predators. I thought it was going to be kind of like one of those, but he was more of like the police officer. Yeah. So he was like already loaded with every DNA. He, Like he was designed to go kill that thing for sure. And again, dogs were weird. Dogs were weird. I enjoy the dogs, actually. Like, I get it, but since we already had the hunting dogs from the last movie, I don't understand why they were more like those. Uh, here's a... Like, the dreadlock thing just kind of really threw me off. Here's a super weird thing. The, you see the, uh, the dog, like the human dog, he's barking at that kid at the beginning. And then second time he meets him on a stadium. And then they drive away, and the dog's running after him. I thought there was going to be a connection with the dog. The dog was going to go somewhere, and it just stops right there. Just stops. Because, like, the kid tries to run after the dog. I was so afraid they were going to kill that dog. Like, the big alien <coughs> dog, he was going to eat the bulldog, and I was going to be super sad. Well, like, I thought there was going to be a connection with the dog, you know, because... dog he, was going to do... No, we had a connection with the lobotomized dog. He brought... He, he was the most convenient plot device ever. Of always bringing what she needed to kill the things. She chucked a hand grenade. He brought it back to her. At the most convenient time. Yeah. Then whatever that predator grenade was. Well, brought was that, that to her yeah. too. That was the weirdest thing ever. But it worked. It blew him up. Well yeah. Especially when he gets impaled by his own blaze. Which now for the toy. The toy bothers me. Because it doesn't have like the. It doesn't seem like the right setup. Yeah. For the blade to pop out. So it's weird. That, I don't know, the toy seems small to me now. It is. Because that predator seemed kind of, like, even the human predator seemed fairly big. And I loved how it walked and moved in the movie. Like, that was really impressive for me. And even the big one, like, you could tell the difference between the two. <clears throat> which is something else I was really impressed with. Alright, Steve, let's talk about the most important thing of this movie. The gift he brought to humanity. Oh, the predator killer? I was so disappointed when they finally opened that because I thought it was going to be a freaking alien. Uh, that's, yeah, I was almost under the assumption that it was going to be a Xeno. Especially when everything started going haywire. Yeah. And then they were like, what does it say? It's the <coughs> Predator Killer. And I'm like, getting all excited because, as we know from AVP, aliens will mess up a Predator. Real quick, too. So maybe they'll they'll try to do another Alien vs. Predator. Maybe do them a little bit better this time. Yeah, I thought I this can. I thought this was going to be like a throwback to that, you know. I just want Colonial Marines and Predators, man. Don't put it on Earth. Don't no just outer space Alien Predators. Be awesome. Just have best of what we have for the Marines, Predators, Xenos, Clash. Maybe have the Pred Alien again. Something. And let's talk about how this movie should have ended. Alright, so, when the the Predator Killer was released, which is still sweet, by the way. Weird that it's just a Predator suit of armor. But it were like, humans can activate it. Yeah. They're like, that's, it's really cool looking. I want a figure. That actually would be like if Hot Toys or something made it. I'll pay the money. But, to me, I thought it was where he's like, that's my suit. That would have been the perfect time. To when that thing popped up. Pops off the guy. And he's like peeing his pants or whatever. And then they'd be like. Well what is that? Arnold should have walked out. And he should be like. That's my suit. Yeah. That, that is how Cut. it should have ended. Right there. Damn it. And then playing the Predator music afterwards. Like. 10 out of 10. That would have made this my favorite Predator ever. Or even if this movie does good. They're planning to make more continuing movies onto this is if in the next one Arnold gets hold of the suit somehow, you know. 
Yeah. <sighs> so I don't know. It's just like I thought he did a really good job in the movie, but I. God, I, I just want like some like, just like the first one. It's like Jesse the Body Ventura, Arnold, and just have like those guys go at the top of those things. Yeah. I don't know why. I just I feel like I have like a set preference. But I'm okay with him still. Well, no, like something happens, like, you know, he died or whatever. He, whatever. I don't care how, as long as, like, Arnold gets hold of the suit. Because then even they can cover his action scenes because he's, you know, older now. They can cover it with the suit. So well, he yeah, that's kind of the thing. Like, you just kind of, you just CG over top and then yeah. just kind of impose his head in there. Good movie. Yeah. Solid 8.5 out of 10 for me, for sure. Uh, yeah, it'd be like, like an 8. I'm, I'm, it's like eight, a good eight. eight. Like the other, five. like two and three were like seven point five ish on my overall scale. I'd say it's a good eight. It was like Predator for me. The first one was like a solid nine. Oh yeah. Because my only issue was I loved the action scenes at the beginning of the movie, but it's like I'm there for the Predator. I'm not there for really generic movie into something original. Like it, that movie takes a little bit to get going, at least in the direction that I wanted to. Well, this one. Pretty much was like balls of the wall the entire time. Outside of like the little sections to help build the story, I thought again I really really liked this movie, and you guys will too if you guys go check it out. But if you probably made it this far, probably already did. So let us know in the comment section below what was your favorite parts of this movie or what you guys thought about it. If you guys hated this movie, because I know there's a lot of people that complained about it. Again, let us know Ooh, in the comment section guys. below. Ooh. But also make sure to subscribe. If you subscribe, we won't boo you, Dad. Well, maybe a little. No, if, if he, they subscribe to our channel, we're not going to boo them. We're going to enjoy them. But if they don't subscribe, boo! Boo! And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, or come around today. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.